Welcome back to Carbon Farms. Today, we're treating bees. Today, we're going to be using Happy Guard. It works pretty good this time of year. It's kind of hot out here. Today is actually pretty nice, about 85 degrees, so can't complain there. But the important thing here is to store it at a certain temperature. Don't want to be over 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And when it's sometimes 85 is a low on a good day here in Florida and can get to 110, feels like, maybe like 98. Uh, I like to store it in my fridge freezer in the back of my truck. So let me show you that. The ARP fridge freezer usually keeps the water in it. It's electric. And I just keep my AP guard inside of it. Get it nice and cool. Don't want to get too cold though, but I'll go ahead and start throwing this on some bees. I'll show you how we do it. So we get a few bees in here to treat. I usually work about three pallets at a time. So I'll break all the tops off, set them down, and then I'll treat with AP guard on top of it. And then we'll just keep doing that around the whole yard. Get them all done. But just a quick look at the entrance. Got a lot of bees out flying. Still a little early this morning. So they're getting to work. The ones out in the sun's probably already been working. The ones in the shade are just getting started. So, But the bees are looking good. We'll break them open and see what they really look like. Can't tell from the front, but good way to start seeing if your bees are active and moving. I'm going to treat them this week, and then next week we'll come through and hopefully make some splits. I'm looking to make about 100, but we'll see we'll see how strong they are they look pretty good right now but can't tell until we bust open all the ones in all the yards today and take a good look at them so, let's get our veil on light the smoker get the treatment ready i'll show you how we do it so this is ap garden i'll go ahead and open the seal on it so, a lot of people also call this thymol, or at least we do. It's got little little tabs on the edges here. Go ahead and break that off. It has one, but we like to go ahead and open this. And you can see it's a nice white creamy substance. Scrape the excess of the lid off, like so. And we actually like to get in here and stir this up a little bit. Make sure nothing's separated while it was in transport or I don't know you never know how long this stuff sits so it helps to stir it up best you can this stuff's not real real bad for you but it will burn if you get it on some sensitive bits if you know what I'm talking about so keep it away from your eyes and orifices for sure but we'll give it a good stir and we take the hive tool wipe it off like so and then I'll clean this hive tool up, or I'll use this hive tool just for this, and have another hive tool for opening the beehive. So let's get to treating. Well, as a one-man operation, this is the best way I've found to be able to treat them and do it in a timely manner. Set the boxes off. Normally, you wouldn't set them in front of the entrance like I'm doing now, but I'm gonna be in and out of them so fast. It really won't matter, but the bees were looking pretty good. This side was a little weak. Next side's gonna be a little stronger show you a little bit of all of it well I got three pallets open there's a few dead ones let me show you what they're looking like so in beekeeping you're always gonna have a few dead ones that one over there is dead see there's not many bees in it these are all looking okay that one's a lot stronger than the other two same thing over here that's a good one okay might have to check that one that one's good then the last pallet dead really good really good maybe asking me why are those dead why did they die i really don't know it looks like they just stopped laying so the queen probably just shut down ran out of eggs they couldn't make a new queen on their own so that's kind of what it looks like there ain't many dead bees out in front of the hives so it doesn't look like a virus or disease or anything like that so i don't know we'll pick them up we'll make them up whenever we make up all the splits and get our numbers back up so all year long we're constantly picking up dead hives and making up new hives to try to keep our numbers the same. It ain't just make a beehive, throw it in the field and let it go. There is some, you're gonna constantly have dead hives and constantly be making new hives. So that's a tip for all you new beekeepers who wonder why you keep losing hives. Well, we're losing them too. Go ahead and take this treatment and I'll show you how we do it. It comes with a syringe and little cards and stuff to put this on, but that's not the way we do it. Probably not the right way, probably illegal, I don't know. But what we do, we get a good, good spoonful let me run it right along the top bar. 
just like so. You don't want to get too much, but you don't want to get too little. And you don't want to treat the dead one over there. So we'll just keep going like this, give them a little treatment. But so this really helps with mites. And it also really helps with them actually just being more hygienic. It'll make them actually start cleaning the hive up, getting rid of any bad brood or any anything that's not supposed to be there. So that really helps. Give that one a little more, a little bigger. Usually the bigger the hive, the more you give it. But it's about a about the end of a hive tool's worth is what we like to treat with. And then we'll come back in a week, maybe two. We'll check them for mites, actually test them, and then apply more treatment if we have to. If not, they'll be good and clean. So we'll see in a couple weeks. But let me finish up treating this one. And then we're going to do the same thing in reverse. Start putting them back together. So as you can see, putting them back together is a lot quicker, a lot easier. So we'll set all these back together. And then I pretty much open the rest of the yard, open all the hives up start slapping it on just like that and as you can see I'm going through these pretty quick the bees are getting stronger and stronger as I make my way around the yard as you can see how many bees are on top of these hives but they actually will start buzzing real loud when you put it on but that's normal they're just reacting to the strong smell of this thymol. mall well that's how we like to treat with happy garden happy guard however you want to say it kind of everyone kind of knows what you're talking about or you call it thigh mall. I don't care what you call it but it works so if you need a little thigh mall, a little apy garden, throw it in. It works in the heat. Just don't let the stuff get too hot before you put it in. So until next time, we'll see you on Cars and Farms.